Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the BBG and Journey to Immortality. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You get my videos as they come out. Now, this one, I haven't actually played this game for YouTube in a while, but I have been playing it relatively actively. I'm at perfect core, almost nascent soul. Let me tell you, those comments weren't joking when they said core formation would take a while. Because, wow, it has taken a while. It's taken a long-ass time. But at the very least, there's enough to do in between actual levels that sort of fills it out. Now, we are going to do the next story mission in this episode. But first of all, I am going to address leagues that got added literally a week ago, maybe now. Now, normally speaking, I shouldn't really even be in a league simply because I'm too low level and there's not many leagues because it requires Fairy J to actually make a league, which is a bit... I mean, what do you expect, you know? But it's quite straightforward in terms of what you construct daily that levels up the guild. Once you level it up, or the league, I should say, once you level it up, you get more members, more unlocks in the market, etc. League bounty, oh, I need to claim these, is literally you get immortal league points and funds and contributions. Each of those corresponds to a different thing. You can spend contribution in the league market, for a huge variety of things. I sometimes get the uh, blitz orders because it's only one contribution per thing, but like I see these skills down here and this is cultivation skills, but the contribution required to get them is crazy high. Not to mention I only just got chaos uh, level two, so I don't think I can cultivate two at once anyway. So I'm just gonna wait on that one and let my contribution build up. League member, as you can see, they're, all of these are deities, they're all gods, and oh, that, there's a nascent soul, nascent soul, deity, 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 and then there's me, core formation. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> I mean, it's great being in here simply because I get so many buffs. <laughs> League instance, now, this is basically the equivalent of exorcism in Immortal Towers, I have to say. You open it up, you have 10 clones of it to kill. You kill them all, it finishes. The highest person ranked in damage receives more contribution than the rest. Pretty straightforward, really. I have yet to be able to really hurt the second level one, Golden Flame Deer. It's fucking strong, let me tell you. And the Rock Scale Beast is fucking weak. There is no in-between. It's like, ugh. League lists, that's your classic map. You got the uh, ocean at the top, red in the middle, and we are corn. Praise corn is really all I can say. <laughs> but we are almost level 4, 9,255 out of 11,000. We'll get there. We'll get there. I can only afford to do primary construction anyway, because if I do fairy J construction, I'll never have enough for when I get to the um, second continent, because I'm still on the first continent, for God's sakes. Basically the equivalent of not having ascended yet. So, you know, here we are. League map. This seems to be basically just occupying an area for a buff. Everyone's occupied a different area. I think I can see, yep. So we have different leagues that have occupied different things for different buffs. We occupied the attack buff because I'm assuming that's the best one, really, especially for these high level players who are probably hitting quite a lot and 5% attack equates to a shitload of increase and I'm also quite sure that we can't occupy more than one at once and only three people can attack from the guild as far as I can see or maybe it's only three people per fight that you can have in the guild territory area I'm not sure what do we get for territory rewards armistice oh, we're currently fighting over it everyone yeah yeah we occupied we were the first to occupy an area I did not help because I was weak as fuck, but that, that is what it is, unfortunately. That was only the other day, really. We only just got around to actually occupying one of these things, although that might be because the challenge period wasn't open at the time. The next setup requires higher level league, and I'm assuming you can occupy one in each area, but I will have to get back to you on that one because this is all still quite new. Quite new indeed. Now, League Market, I showed you this just before. There's a lot of stuff in here that's worth quite a bit, I have to say. All of these are really good items. These Mystery Blitz Orders are probably actually very... That's actually a good price for that. I'm actually... I'm going to get 10. Because I only use one a day at the moment for Starwood. Star Forward, I should say. And that's purely for when I hit Nason Soul and can start making proper 
equipment. That's all I'm focusing on. I'm just trying to get to nascent soul at the moment. But I may pause at perfection of core 10 so I can just farm nascent pills and just be able to level up easily as I go rather than having to spend time doing this, going into business league, having to, instead of spending 6,000, spend 15,000 on the nascent soul elixirs. But you can just use cultivation to get them. And that's nice. Let me tell you, that's really nice. Who do not make them. If you're up to this, don't make them. Don't bother making them. Just farm them like with cultivation or spirit stone. You're going to have a better time. You know, <laughs> you're going to have a better time. And then we have league skill. And this is all just basically you get an extra buff to each of your stats, like based on whatever level you can level it to. 300,000 spirit stone required for level 12 in HP. That's a while away. Oh, well, I say that, but every time I log on to this, everything's gone up a level. So <laughs> it's an amazing amount of extra stats. It's boosted my points quite a bit. 528,000 holy power. I don't really know if that's high. I'll be honest with you. I have no idea. That number makes very little sense in terms of overall, but you know, whatever. Now, before I get into the story mission, I'm actually going to show you Rainbow Island. I don't know really what this is because I tried fighting the first one a few days ago, probably actually just after I recorded that last video, I tried this first one and I got absolutely smashed. So I'm going to fight this again and we're going to see what happens. And apparently I can send disciples here, but I don't know what that means because I don't have any disciples. Like, <laughs> But let's fight and see what happens. Yeah, how strong are they? I got smashed before, Jesus. No, it's not so funny when you're the ones dying, is it? You fucks. Get out of it. Hell yeah. Can I just do that again and again? Oh, shit. I see. Okay, yeah. So you can just send off partner to just farm it right okay now we're on the same page off you go okay that's cool yep and then i do it again over here i don't think i'll beat this one though oh maybe if they tank all the hit oh they're piss swag what am i saying holy crap i've gotten so much stronger Well, that's a lot of dodge. No, my pet. Come on. Oh, all good. Thank God. All right. <laughs> yeah, I can't even send anyone there, but that's my next one, I guess. I can cancel. Cancel. Okay, well, alas, I cannot cancel it and I'll have to wait. Oh, rest in peace. But I should be able to auto this unless I've already done it. There we go. Max. Boom. More items for me. Fuck you. I can't yet do Elm City because you actually need early of nascent soul. And I'm not. <laughs> I'm just not, you know. It is insane the difference needed. Like early of core formation, early of nascent soul. That just is a huge amount of time difference. I've now been playing for... 21 days, 21 and a half days, maybe. Well, 21 days and a couple of hours, I suppose. And I'm only at perfection of core, you know, not the best. I'm hoping not the worst. Otherwise, I'm going to feel like a sad boy. <laughs> but let's jump into story because I really need to do this midterm of core. I'm pretty sure the next mission after this will be probably a nascent soul sort of thing. But let's get into it. Chen Village. Dedicated Temple Branch. Though it is the branch of Overlord Pavilion, the palace is already resplendent and magnificent with its red walls and yellow tiles. Surrounded by green and towering ancient trees. That does sound good, I cannot deny. Hello, sir. Absolutely nothing. Okay. There's a bounty here. Can I have it? I can get rich from killer monsters. I could have guessed that myself, I'll be honest with you. It's really good to get rewards for completing sect assessments. Thank you, that would be good, actually. Kill monsters. Young master of the coal school. What the 
fuck are you doing here? This is the ancient sword sect. Oh, actually, no, wait, no, it's not. This is a story mission. Never mind. Never mind. I will go wherever the Lord goes. I don't know who the Lord is, but I hope it's me. What do I do? I'm going to the country road. The path is created through being trodden by people on both sides of some white or red wild flowers emitting a faint fragrance. Well, that's just lovely. Mr. Chan Village? That's a strange name. Several peach trees are planted at the entrance to the village. The clusters of pink peach blossoms are in full bloom, just like the red glow from the sun. There are dogs barking at the village entrance to welcome the crowd. Well, alrighty then. Old dude, you immortals, yes, hello, that is me. Wearing a turban covered with oil, stained with chicken blood, Jesus. Alright then. Uh, hello? A monster with fangs. Interesting. Can we be friended? 30 year old. Some lady. Chat. Hello. Standing behind the crowd silently with a small child. Well, let's go to Widow Lee's home, I suppose. Judging from the quadrangle with red walls and green tiles, we know it's a rich family. However, the backbone of the family has passed away. There still remains unburnt ghost money in the yard. I'm not too sure what that refers to, but it sounds cultural. <laughs> All right, let's talk to people. Old man, hello. Yep, yep, yep. I will kill things. Hello. They were going to sacrifice someone, and we stopped them. Okay, well, I didn't know you were going to sacrifice anybody, but I'm glad I stopped you, because that's fucking dumb. Full of blue clothes, yada yada, yep. It's all the widow's fault she killed her husband. Where's your proof, first of all? You can't just... She went to the mountains to attract monsters to the whole village. I don't feel like that's accurate, somehow. So they were going to sacrifice a little kid. And now they want widowed Lee dead. Jesus, this place, honestly. It's messed up. Several stone stools and a small table. Well, I... Yeah, that's the kid that was going to get sacrificed. Some master of a coal school. Yep, yep, yep. And he's trying to sleep with someone. Standard. Room is not enough. Yeah, okay, alrighty. Guest room. The guest room is small with only a single wooden bed. The household items are reserved but neatly placed. Hello. You sleep on the floor. I sleep on the bed. Okie doke. I mean, rude, but fine. Floor's comfortable too. Whatever. Chat. Oh, two benches. Just sleep on the floor, man. Don't... All right, let's go to sleep. Oh, for Christ's sake. Looking at me with sadness, what do you want? Did you sleep? When I was eight years old, my parents abandoned me and left Jade Sword School. I know how hard it is to be an orphan. Well, we must protect... Yeah, I mean, I was going to do that. Like, it's all good. What do I... Chat? Lots of chat. Can we... Oh. We leaving now. <laughs> Farm lane. Pass follows the terrace, passes through the pine forest, twists and turns, and winds up the verdant slope like an undertint ribbon. A what? I I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, but let's talk to people. Why is everyone following me as well? <laughs> like all of these people are just following me. Okay, they keep saying this person. All right, like, whatever, I will just go and kill it. Would you just stop talking to me and let me do my fucking job? Uncle with a horse face didn't like to talk, but from time to time he would say one or two surprising words, okay. Soon as Widow Lee's husband died, her mother-in-law kicked her out. The mother-in-law sold the wanted to sell the farmland and took the grandson to the relatives ever since the mother and child had never seen each other. Yeah, that's a bit fucked up. It is quite a bit fucked up, actually. 
Outside, altar scattered at the cave entrance and many tributes just brought by the villagers. The candles are lit and the fires blazing brightly. Well, of course, everyone is still with me. Everyone wants a drink. Yeah, we're going to protect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yada, yada. Okay, this little kid is getting spoiled. Drink. Yep, the wine is good. Moving on, let's go fight things. Oh, shit. The kid was tired and placed on a huge plate. A small amount of gold and silver was <laughs> placed in. Jesus, this is a bit much. Monster, I will let you eat sword skill. Look at the sword. <laughs> oh, man, that's so intimidating. Please, no. <laughs> oh, How dare you? I'm the supremo of Cole's call. Oh, this is great. I love hearing the unimportant people scream about their worth. And they poisoned us. I bet you they fucking poisoned us. The sacrifice baby was ready. Don't disturb. No, look, I'm just going to kill you. I'm not going to lie. Come on. You were not ready, sir. Not ready at all. You see why everything before this was pointless, honestly. All right, it's dead. Uh, okay, so kid tried to do things and got wrecked. Standard. Mass grave. Ooh, that sounds fun. Weeds spring up, tombstones stand in great numbers. Broken trees and rocks can be found everywhere. Well, alrighty. Everyone's done their best. Yep. This wicked fairy. What? Okay, whatever. I, whatever. Moving on down the gravel road to Village Head's home. And there's even more people to bloody well talk to. Yep. Yep, go rest. Whatever. The kid's dead. Whatever. Soz, I guess. That's my bad. Somehow. I get. I, I don't recall. I, I could have sworn that we won. But that's all good. I suppose we should be grateful that only one person died, I guess. Jesus. Oof. Guest room, hello. White and fat. Okie doke. I have found the nest just above the mass grave. Okie doke, let's go. Lead on. We will save the small human. Oh fuck, I have to choose something. <laughs> um. Fuck. Well, I assume go now is probably the best one. I, I'm going to go with go now. Not because I can't read the other option, but because going now just seems like the best, best way to do it, you know? Uh, can we, what are we, back to the mass grave, I assume? Hello, monster cave. If one doesn't check carefully, I wouldn't have found it. Well, I found it, so now I'm going to fight you. Uh, everyone's, maybe, okay, I don't know. All right, let's kill it. Oh, look, there's more. Not that it matters in the least. Get wrecked. Moving on. You you died. And he ran away again. Of course he did. Please stop running away. Honestly. Lynn, you got hit by a poison needle. Standard. Oi, someone from Sky Blitz. That is actually a sect that you can join out in the uh, non-story area. So what you're telling me is people from Sky Blitz eat children. Right, I have learned something today. Good thing I didn't go there. <laughs> a demon is a demon and a demon is evil. That's a bit black and white. That's all I'm going to say. The world is simply shades of grey. Final fight. Let's get it over with. Come on. Oh, that's a lot stronger. Sort of. I mean, not enough, but, you know, stronger. Knock to the ground. Oh, come on. How many times is he going to get away? I lose. Do whatever you want. All right. Okay. A lot of these. So the monster is a good person and Sky Blitz doesn't eat children. Right. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, so they planned this. That's the stupidest fucking plan I've ever heard. Wow. I really have no words for your idiocy. You 
I'm I'm leaving. I'm leaving, you idiots. Wow. Wow. Now nah, the person who got hit by a poison thing needs to get cured, standard. Uh that must be the next story mission. Oh shit, uh thank you. Midterm of nascent soul. Holy fuck. That is no joke. That's literally like weeks away. Like <laughs> weeks away. Wow. I mean, I enjoy those little missions for the story, but I have to say they could be better translated, you know? Just a little bit, just a little bit better translated. Uh, Divine Beast, I'm going to actually claim some of these. My beasts are going okay-ish. I'm trying to create some precious ones, which are the blue versions, and then from blue, I think I go up to super and then yeah i have to get two supers together to go up to the next one ah uh, who knows how long that's gonna take my aim really is to get this array to 88 because that way it stores up a lot more chi which is sort of what i want because it takes too damn long otherwise let me tell you too damn long but i think that will do out of me this young man 256 years i don't know is that old I'm almost nascent soul. I should be nascent soul before 300. Is that good? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a like. Leave me a comment. And as always, have a great day.